It is winter 22 to 23 and we have had a time of extreme weather. We had our cows in the barn for a few weeks in December due to the very wet weather. Here it is January 23 when the weather was very cold so our water troughs and pipes froze up. That meant we had to let the cattle into this near bit to a water hole that kept going. Here they are drinking from it, from grazing that ideally we'd have taken them off after a day or so. As it was, we had to keep them there, but already in March, it is recovering nicely and I'm not too concerned about any damage that was done. We found that when it is wet, that it's better to give the cattle a bigger rather than smaller area to eat. We're aiming to develop species diversity on this piece of land and so like to take the grazing down quite hard at the end of the winter, leaving light and space for different species to come through. It is worth noting that the excessively long and rainless summer meant we were grazing this particular field in September and the growth you'll see on it relied on a good growing season in October and November. I always worry about thistles dominating when I see divots like this, but we will see what happens. We've combined feeding hay and grazing with our eye on leaving the sward as low as possible and not being damaged and the cows staying in good condition. They are pregnant and due to start calving in mid to late March. There's a herd of 23 of them and one bull in this group. February turned out to be dry with no rain at all for the entire month and so we were able to keep the cattle on one patch for a long time, feeding them hay with new species in it and leaving plenty of muck and wee on that area. So we're very interested to see how that works out in the spring. Here we are using our bale unroller to put out the hay each day. Thanks to the dry weather, we were also able to go back to areas that we had only half grazed in the wet as we took them off before the grass was as low as we'd have liked as we were worried about poaching. In another section of this area of land, we have grazed our weaned nine month year old calves, not giving them hay except when it snowed and their job has been to eat off the very welcome autumn growth for new plants to come through when it warms up. Weaned in December at seven months, these calves have had nothing more than grazed pasture and are doing very well being moved on regularly and taking the top off last year's growth, so resetting the pastures for fresh spring grass to come through. We will leave this whole field entirely until midsummer to see what comes up and allow it to rest fully. So I'll do a video update then when we'll have plenty of different experimental approaches to compare. Thanks for listening.